All right, time to get practical. So you want to measure the skyscraper. So here's what you do. You walk exactly 100 meters away from the base of the building. Now that distance along the ground is what we'd call the adjacent side of a right angle triangle. Then let's say you have a protractor. So you take it out from your bag and then you measure the angle of elevation. So let's say you measure it and it turns out to be 30 degrees. So now you've got two pieces of information. You've got the adjacent side, which was 100 meters, and then you've got the angle, which is 30 degrees. And the side that you want to find is the building's height, which is the opposite side, because obviously you're standing opposite the building. So which of our three tools or the three formulas will help us? Is it sine? Is it cosine? Or is it tangent? Which one links opposite and adjacent? That's right, it's tangent. So TOA, which is opposite over adjacent. So let's plug in the numbers. So tan of 30 degrees will equal opposite over 100. Then we rearrange it. So then the opposite becomes tan of 30 times by 100. Now, if you were to plug that into a calculator, tan of 30 degrees will equal 0.577. And you multiply that by 100 and you get 57.7 meters. Now let's pause and think about that because with just a single angle and a single distance, you've managed to measure a giant building to a decimal point. And the best part, this method works anywhere for trees, mountains, towers, you name it. Trigonometry has turned a skyscraper into something that you can measure with nothing more than ratios and logic. That's the power of maths.